G'day everyone, I'm AJ and welcome to my weekly training recap. I'm prepping for Sydney Marathon and would you believe it right now, there's one week to go. One more week and then it's on. Last week I did my marathon simulation workout and it took a while to recover from that. Nothing specific, just a bit of general soreness like, you know, when you put in a harder effort than your usual training effort, the quads were a bit sore, the, the hamstrings were a bit tight, all of that sort of stuff. So I was pretty stiff and sore moving around on the Sunday. On the Monday, I had 30 minutes on the cards. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw straight to show you how that was. Good morning, Monday morning, and gee, that was intense. I wasn't expecting that. 30 minutes, supposed to be easy, and bloody hell, it was hard work. Just checking the watch, waiting for a truck to go past. Yeah, 4.87 Ks at 6 tenths. The legs just weren't moving. But anyway, that's done. On to tomorrow. I'll feel better tomorrow, I reckon. Chat with Joel this afternoon. We'll be talking race strategy. We'll be talking all that sort of stuff. So I'd like to talk about tomorrow. Uh, I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning, Tuesday morning, and we're just about at work. Five-ish Ks at 5.20s, 30 minutes, done. Nice and easy and a beautiful day for it. Listening to an interesting podcast with a designer from On Shoes. And yeah, I'll leave a link down below. But yeah, just a very interesting chat about the way they're going with their shoes. Anyway, I'm going to finish up here. See you soon. Oh, okay. Wednesday, uh, Tuesday afternoon, run done. 30 minutes on the way home. Nice and easy. Um, I'll chat to Joel tonight. I feel good. Legs feel a bit heavy, but they're okay. So yeah, probably a workout tomorrow and then um, work out again on Friday. But anyway, listen to the rest of that interview with the, um, the designer from On. Just love listening to what they're doing with their brand and how they're trying to grow the sport and stay true to the sport, which is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, really cool brand. Anyway, battery's about to die. I'll leave that there. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, good evening. Tuesday evening. Um, got to work this morning and realized that I didn't record anything. I got about 20 meters away from the front gate. And, oh, hang on. You didn't actually get the camera out today. So, sorry about that. 30 minutes this morning. I don't know, the usual, 5.9, five-ish minutes per K. Got word from Joel during the day about the workout that he wanted me to do, which was another by feel workout. So you know how I feel about those. Um, yeah, it was 15 minutes, uh, just warm up. Then progressing down to eventually by the end of it doing, um, what was it? Four minutes per K for the last five minutes and then a 10 minute cool down. I decided to do it in five minute increments because like in the run, I, I'm just not, I'm not in that space yet where I can name my effort and then kick down a gear to the next effort and then kick down a gear to the next effort. I just need pace guides. I need an idea in my head of what it's going to look like. So I did that in five minute intervals. They'll be all on screen. Um, but yeah. The run in total, I think it was 10 and a half Ks in 50 minutes. So, you know, decent run. My legs are fairly tired now. I found it pretty hard to get down to four minute Ks at the end. <sighs> I think my legs are tired. Very excited though. Long run this week is an hour and 15 minutes. Like I'm not even gonna get a loop of the mountain in in that time. <sighs> it's been a long time since that's been a long run. That just sounds so easy to me on Sunday. So yeah, long run Sunday, workout Friday. It's gonna be a good week. I like taper. Let's get, let's get it done. See you tomorrow. Good afternoon. Thursday afternoon, I'm on the jog home. 40 minutes to Sabo. Nice and easy. Probably sit at about 520s for this one. Um, it's raining again, which is always annoying. But you know, I live in the best part of the world for rain, so I just gotta suck it up. But um, listening to myself on a podcast at the moment, talking about running, talking about my training, because you know, that's how much of a nerd I am about this sort of stuff. I, 
I listen to what I said on that podcast and reflect and try to refine refine that and you know just super nerdy stuff right now so anyway nice easy day 30 minutes this morning which was lovely and then yeah 40 minutes this afternoon tomorrow morning uh, final endurance workout it's a step down from the ones I've previously done it's funny how quickly I've become accustomed to big sessions big K's big training because this one is 3k warm-up seven so then 14 k's of k on k off at 415s and 445s and then 3k cooldown and that to me sounds easy whereas a few months ago that wasn't easy at all that was that sounded like hard work so yeah it'll be effort but nothing compared to what i've done so yeah, looking forward to that one tomorrow morning. Most importantly though, footy final start tonight. Collingwood Brisbane on the TV. Let's get around it. Hopefully there's a win for Collingwood. Collingwood Melbourne, not Collingwood Brisbane, Collingwood Melbourne. Looking forward to that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Anyway, that takes me to Friday's workout. Now, Friday's workout was a marathon endurance session with a lot lower expectation or a lot lower stress because it was halfway through the taper and I was just doing six by 1K marathon pace, 1K 30 seconds below it with a 3K warm up and 3K cool down. It's really funny to think like two months ago, that's a huge workout for me and that's somewhat intimidating. I went into this one going, it's only 18Ks with 12K worth of work. Like, that's nothing. I can do that easily. I had a late night on Thursday night watching the footy. So I didn't get up early because it means getting up at four o'clock in the morning and the kids had a rough night sleeping. So I would have only had like two or three hours sleep. So I took the option to have two more hours sleep and get through the work day, which meant I didn't get started until 8.30 at night because my young fella has athletics on Friday nights. 10K in, it's about 9.30 at night. I managed to roll my ankle on a seed pod. Uh, this one's one of those ones where you're just running in a dark area and there's the trees here have these little seed pods that drop on the ground and they end up rock hard. So basically you're running around with, on concrete paths with golf balls, just like black golf balls littered on them. So every now and then you turn your ankle over. Well, I do anyway. This time I knew I'd done it straight away. Felt pain, a little bit of pain straight away. So I immediately stopped the workout, sulked the whole way home and took the rest on Saturday. So no run on Saturday and only 10Ks worth of work in the end, not the full 18 that I was expecting. So that leads us into Sunday's long run. Good morning. Sunday morning and it's long run day. And this is the beauty of the taper. The long run today is an hour and 15 minutes. So, I don't know, I might get 15 Ks, 14, 15 Ks done in that time. How easy is that? Let's get stuck into it. Okay, so we're about 35 minutes in. And this is one of the beautiful things about the taper. I'm about to turn around and I feel like I'm jogging really slow. Slowing myself down. Look down at the watch and I'm hitting five minute Ks. Heart rate's under 130 like it's, this is a very, very cruisy effort. But the legs are just ticking over. So stuff like that gives you a lot of confidence going into the marathon that, hey, maybe this stuff works and maybe, maybe I can do Maybe I can do it. So yeah, turning around now, heading back. Trying to do a bit of recovery stuff today, get myself nice and loose. Ready for the final week. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Starting to get hungry now though, so I'll take a gel too. All right, I'll talk to you towards the end. Bye for now. Okay, hour and 15 done, 15 k's at five minute pace. 
like I say, that felt so easy. So, so easy. That's lovely. Beautiful morning for it too. A bit windy, but yeah, lovely day. All right, that's the second last week done. Real taper time now. The uh, training plan is very, very light on. I'll talk a bit more about that in a moment. See you soon. And that's the end of the week. So it looks like I've dodged another bullet. It's currently Sunday afternoon. I'm grumpy that I let it happen, but I'm really happy with the outcome. And that's all I can take from it at the moment is that I've got to be happy with the outcome. I was chatting to a friend this morning who said, oh, can we just wrap you in cotton wool for a week? And, and that's one of those things that if you stop running for two weeks because the work's done, you're going to end up feeling like crap on race day. So you've got to work down slowly and... Like I could feel, I could start to feel that today in my legs, and I know I talked about it while I was running. Just how much, how good my legs feel, and how they tick over just so nicely right now. And I'm only halfway through the taper, so that's going to get even better as the week goes on. Anyway, 69.6 k's for the week. Big, big drop off next week. Like I'll run to and fo- from work on Tuesday. I'll do a workout on Wednesday, which is a 10 k effort based workout. Yay! We all know I love effort-based workouts. And then nothing else longer than 30 minutes. Rest days, Monday and Thursday. And the best part is I've got a massage book for tomorrow. Cannot wait. Josh is awesome. There's a couple of things that are just starting to feel a little bit eh. And I just, I know he'll he'll fix those for me. And then, yeah, ready to fly on Friday night. It's going to be a big week. It's going to be a nervous week. Um, I've got to think about my pacing plan still because that is still up in the air. Uh, The more I think about, the more I'm leaning towards. I want to go in with a fairly open goal, wherever feels right between 4.15 and 4.20. And if I can stick to that group and that feels right, if I can get into that zone, then that's what I want to do. So anyway, that's where my head's at right now. Looking forward to next week. Cannot wait. It's going to be a great, great week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.